guys it's maggie welcome back to another vlog i'm really excited about today's video because i am going and doing a little staycation with Graydon tonight and i'm super excited this was like so last minute honestly we just planned it today <laughs> because we were leaving our workout and we got lunch after and we have a dinner tonight with our whole entire team, like our managers in town for Raiden's event tomorrow. And we're going out to dinner with our manager, Raylin, our assistant, Emma, me, Graydon, everybody that's part of our management company who lives in Boston. So we're doing that, which is gonna be super fun. And we are getting dinner tonight downtown at, we have a 745 reservation. And I figured, I was like, wait, today is Tuesday and my cleaners come on Tuesday and they usually come afternoon, nighttime. And I got a text from my cleaning lady and she said she's coming at five o'clock and they're usually here for like two hours. So I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get ready and have time to like do everything. I just never like to be in their way. So I like to like leave and go to the grocery store or run errands while they're here. But I was like, Graydon, why don't we just do a little staycation? We can stay at a hotel and we can just go, take photos, sleep over. And my favorite hotel in Boston, the Newberry Hotel, is right next to the restaurant that we're going to. So I was like, let's just book a room and stay there. And it'll be so much fun. And then we can walk around tomorrow and go shopping. I'm supposed to be picking up a bag tomorrow anyway. So... <laughs> I was gonna have to go downtown to begin with but I was like, let's just do that. So we're gonna go do that I just took an everything shower. I'm so excited to like get ready and do my makeup at the hotel and Take photos get dressed up and stuff like that So I just thought it'd be fun also to bring you guys along with and we can do like a little mini Vacation, but anyway just took an everything shower. I'm about to Put on my favorite body duo. This is the necessaire the body serum has been a holy grail, like my favorite, favorite product. I love putting it on after I take a shower, literally daily. I put it on before I do my moisturizer. There's five different types of hyaluronic acid in this. It just really helps hydrate your skin and it leaves it like super smooth and plump. And I follow it with the Necessaire body lotion. I love Necessaire products. My favorite of all time is the body wash right here. I love the eucalyptus. Also, you guys know how many baths I take. I feel like I'm constantly taking a bubble bath and getting questions about what bath soap I use. And I always am using the Necessaire body wash. I just put some in and it makes your bath so luxurious. I love the smell of it and the bubbles, like it foams up so nicely. And it's just the perfect body wash. There is a bunch of vitamins and stuff in it and also all of their products are dermatologist tested hypoallergenic non-comedogenic so they're really good for your skin i have like such sensitive skin and these products have been amazing they've been my favorite for four years since 2020 and i remember the day i discovered these products i was like the packaging is just so sleek and chic and it looks so nice on your counter like i'm all about the aesthetic and it helps when the products actually work really well like i have been non-stop buying them for the past four years and I finally got a discount code. <laughs> this is like the angels have answered my prayers. I have a discount code Maggie. You can get 15% off of your whole entire order at Necessaire, which I do also want to show you guys something else. Hold on. You guys know I'm such a huge fan and I want to show y'all this is my overnight cosmetic bag from Bayes and look what I have in here you guys already know my little favorite minis we have the shampoo and conditioner I have my mini body wash I have a mini body serum a mini body lotion we have it all we have the whole kit that comes with me when I travel because I am that <laughs> obsessed with these products so if you are looking whoop, if you're looking to try out any necessary products, use the link down below. Use my discount code. You will not regret it. And I'm super excited. Anyway, I'm going to lather my body up with my serum and my lotion. And I kind of want to get packing right now. It's 3 o'clock. 
yeah, 311. I'm pretty sure check-ins at four. And I wanna have enough time to like film, do a few TikToks, take photos and stuff. So we're gonna start getting the ball rolling and see if we can leave within the next 50 minutes. That's our goal. Ready. Milo always gets so sad when he sees my suitcase, but little does he know, you're coming with me, Milo. You're gonna come to the hotel. We just got to the room. We're waiting for Gunkle to come, right? We have to wait for Gunkle to show up, and then that's when the party gets started. <laughs> We're staying at the Newbury Hotel, right? You love this hotel. You've already gotten so many treats. The Bellmen are so yes, you do. you love it. The Bellmen are so sweet to you. They give you treats, and they give you a bed, and they give you bowls, right? And you're having so much fun so far. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you, my sweets. Let's get let's do a room tour. So when you first walk in, this is a little hallway. And there's a nice little closet right here. The thing that I love the most about this hotel is the location. I also love the staff and I just think, I don't know, it's like the perfect Boston hotel. So if you're ever looking for a place to stay in Boston, this is the hotel that I recommend. It's in the best location. I also love how they have a Nespresso machine. Also look how cute these mugs are. A few years ago, my heat went out at my apartment and I came here and I stayed for a few days and it was the best few days we've ever had, right? And then this is the bathroom and in the bathroom they have Byredo products. They have a signature scent for this hotel It's called Willow and I love it. It smells so good So they have like the hand soap and then they also have all of the shower products And then this is what the room looks like. I can't wait to show you guys the view Also, the beds are so so comfy here. My favorite beds are at this hotel and I also love the Four Seasons and the Ritz, comfiest beds in the world. <laughs> and then this is the view we can't really see right now because it's like so dark out, but we have a park view and they upgraded us, which was so nice, but you can't see, obviously, until the morning, I'll show you guys tomorrow. But anyway, I think I'm gonna start getting ready now. Graydon should be on his way. And I want to start doing my makeup and get ready so we have enough time for photos and all of that. Also, I think we're going to get like a little drink and an appetizer. I want to film a little get ready with me for my TikTok, but I realized I didn't bring my sticky to put on the mirror so I could like film my makeup, but it's okay. So I think I'm just going to do, we can do it here on YouTube and then I can show my outfit and stuff on TikTok. It's not that big of a deal. But anyway, going to change into my robe and we will be right back. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm crying, that was so nice. Look, they brought for Milo. You had the toy, Bubba? Anyway, they brought an amenity to the room, which was so sweet. A little bottle of wine for me and Graydon. Things to get ready. I'm gonna start out with a little bit of Laneige. Okay, my skin is already, honestly, I just obviously showered and did skincare before I left the house. And I'm just gonna get right into makeup. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'm in the shade five. Oh, this is 5.1. It's my shade when I don't have any like self tanner or anything like that. I like to apply my foundation with a fluffy brush. It applies so nicely. I just feel like it gives your face like a airbrushed finish it makes your skin look super smooth it doesn't make your makeup look cakey at all i'd like to use some of this nars concealer just like the pot concealer and conceal any places that i feel like i just need a little bit of extra product like especially if i have acne scars also when i was dealing with really bad acne this was one of my favorite products like it was so good at concealing acne also it doesn't clog your pores and what I would do is that would take the product, I literally would like scrape some of it out and I would put it on the back of my hand and I would use a brush and then apply it to all the places that needed coverage and I got my exact skin match. 
Right now I'm just like, I'm dipping it back in the pot because I don't have any active breakouts or anything. But if you have acne and you're looking for a good concealer to cover up, use this one. It's so good. It makes your skin look so natural. And also you want to make sure that you're not putting your brush like back into the container because that could spread bacteria from your acne into your product. So and then when you're putting it on your face, you're just like contaminating your face. But that product is so good. I'm gonna do a little bit of brow gel, just this clear one from Kosas. Just brushing up my brows a little bit. I never really do anything crazy with my brows. I don't like fill them in or anything. I always just brush them. Tiny little bit like that. All right, concealer. I've been using this concealer for a while. I really like this one a lot. This is Milk. I'm in the shade 8C, just putting a little bit. Honestly, I only really need it underneath my eyes right now. I also didn't bring, I didn't really bring a concealer brush. Mm, I'm gonna have to use this. Green's on his way. I love this mirror in the bathroom right now. There's like, they have like a really nice light, <laughs> like around the mirror. And I feel like it makes putting your makeup on so much better. Also, I just took out my Westman Atelier stick to use, but I think I'm gonna use this one by Milk, which I've been really liking for the past few months. Oh my god, my dog is so cute, you guys. He's like entertaining himself. <laughs> He's entertaining himself with a little, that little thing that they gave him. I like to just press the product into my skin, not really drag it. I feel like I'm so tired today also, I don't know why. I don't think I ate enough. Like I woke up this morning and I had Greek yogurt bowl with berries and then I headed out to my workout and then after my workout, Graydon and I went to Greystone and we split a sandwich. No, we split two sandwiches. We did like half and half and I don't know, I just feel like it wasn't enough for me to eat after my lift and I'm like so starving and I was gonna get a appetizer when I showed up at the hotel, like get one up to the room and I didn't end up doing that. So here I am. Also, oh my God, I don't have like a a brush for my like i wanted to do a little bit of eyeshadow just like in my crease i have this kosas palette that i use sometimes but i don't have any i don't have a brush hmm i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i guess i could use this big fluffa hopefully it like wouldn't oh oh <laughs> guys what the it's dense that is dense. Oh my god, no. That is really bad. Blend, blend, blend. Oh, I always watch all the makeup girls on TikTok. They're like, blend, blend, blend. No. Nope. No, you guys, that is so bad. That's really bad. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I guess it's off. I guess maybe it's freaking me out because I don't have any blush on. Also, sorry if I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder it's because i feel like it's acting as a mirror for me right now and i need to just use the actual mirror oh that was say blush in the shade rosy i like to usually do two different shades of blush when i'm doing my makeup so i'll put rosy on to start and then i'm gonna also add dreamy which is this like dark purpley shade i like to do that always on top I really like a darker, well, I don't know, I like like a peachy blush on me and I also like a darker one. I feel like that's just been my go-to for a while. And these are my favorite, they're super easy to blend out. They're very buildable, all the shades look really nice together as well, so. Okay, I guess the eyes don't look that bad. I'm gonna add some setting powder, brand new setting powder. Again, I just like to tap, like press this product into my skin. This Charlotte Tilbury setting powder is so good. It like leaves your makeup locked in for hours. Doesn't move. Like I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I've been using this for like three years. My fave. I almost use this as eyeliner. That's my lip liner. Okay, we're going to do some liner. Stila brown liquid liner. It's a big wing. I feel like I used to be able to do wings with my eyes closed. And I don't know why now I'm like, I struggle with my wing. Like this one looks 
But that one kind of looks funky. That one looks so much better, I think. Why are they different? <laughs> Guys, uh, not my wings. Not my wings being different. Okay. Let's see if we can redo this one. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. <laughs> I hope. I hope. I also got a new eyelash curler from Say. I've never used this one before. Hey, Bubba, what are you doing? Oh, you want me to throw it? Let me see. Give it to me, love. Drop it. Dog mom life. Ooh, okay, mascara and we're almost done. We're almost done with the makeup, Milo. I don't love that lash curler if I'm being honest. I feel like my eyelashes are like sticking out. I really like the Shiseido one and I got that one like years ago. I need to honestly get a new one because I feel like that one's a lot better. I had it for a long time, it started to get weird. Okay, I was gonna try a brand new lip tonight that I've never tried before, so I'm kind of nerve nervous. It's this Charlotte Tilbury Rose to Fame lipstick lip liner duo. Actually, I'm gonna add some highlighter before we get into that. I don't know, I, I kind of just want to try something different. I feel like, well, I hope I don't hate it, but yeah, I feel like I always use the same lip. Like I never really change it and I'm kind of in the mood to try something new. I'm gonna open this little water. Mm. That's really good right now. Hopefully I don't regret my decision. I'm normally a pillow talk girl. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Guys, it's like red. I don't know if I like this. Whoa, why do I kind of like that? I don't ever do a dark lip, I kind of love it. Okay. You. Okay, I guess I'm gonna put some of this over it. Say lip oil in the shade Bounce. Okay, cool. That's the makeup. Let me know if you like the lip. Let me know if you're a fan or if you're not. I don't know, I feel like already on my lips tonight, so it's one of those things where we just have to kind of like own the moment. Okay, I'm ready. Look who's it. Hey, we're having. Hey. Okay, outfit of the night. This jacket's from Revolve. And I'm wearing this. You should have seen Graydon's face when I showed him what's underneath my jacket. Is it lingerie? No, I wish. It's like this <laughs> cat suit thing from Are You A Mine? And, and then I put these boots on with it and he was like, you're not serious right now. I used to love and then I'm wearing these Manolo boots. And I don't know, I just kind of wanted the jacket to be the moment. Here you are, <gasps> Thank miss. you, my love. Ooh, Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Love you. Love you guys. Really? I know. I'm so sorry. I do a lot of Good morning. Good morning. We just ordered a few coffees. We're at the street bar. And it's so cute. We missed breakfast though. It ended at 11. But we're sitting by the fire. We're gonna have some coffee. And it's a rainy day. I know. We were sleepy. I like have this really bad pain in my shoulder. And it like goes all the way down my arm and it's like on my neck and I don't know why or like what it is. So I booked a massage. Like I literally couldn't sleep. I was up at like five in the morning in so much pain. And so I booked a massage. <sighs> I'm like so excited. This is much needed. I feel like I haven't gotten one in so long. Yum. Oh my God, the orange juice looks so good.
Hi guys, I'm in such a rush right now. I should have just stayed at the hotel one more night, honestly, <laughs> because I was like, I don't really have time to tell the story because I am going to meet Hallie right now to go to Graydon's event. This is my outfit. I didn't have any clothes, so I was like, I need to go home and get an outfit, but I'm going back downtown, like literally where I was, we're going to Girl 23. It looks like it's gonna start downpouring. And this is my fit. I'm just wearing, I'm literally wearing Lululemon leggings, the Align mini flare with my Chanel flats. I have on this Frankie Shop blazer belted, my new bag, bag reveal, the small Andiamo, and why I can't think of the color right now. It's like this wine color. And then my earrings are from Heaven Mayhem. We gotta go because I don't wanna be late. Love ya. Good morning. Just sat down at my desk. Wait, this is so weird. I literally had a dream and the dream that I had, I swear was like a few weeks ago and I just got an email and it's like the same thing that I dreamt. Anyway, I'm gonna end off this vlog here and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Last night was such a fun night. I'm so proud of Graydon and it's just so amazing to watch your friend succeed and i just couldn't be more proud of him and i'm just so excited to see what the future holds and i can't even believe that a year ago like he was just starting tiktok and now to see that he sold out an event in one day with 100 people was amazing and it was the best night and it was so much fun celebrating him and so nice if I met you, anybody watching this video at the event, I met so many of you guys and it was just truly the best night and yeah, my camera's about to die also so I don't want to get cut off but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was like a different type of video. We like weren't, it was like a, my little staycation vlog and we're back home now obviously so I really want to do more of these if you guys are interested not like just going to even different places like around like outside of Boston like there's so much around New England and like all these different cities and stuff so I was like wait I should like do more vlogs like that like little staycations and stuff like in the area and yeah so anyway if you guys liked it please let me know and I I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm like ranting. I'm so out of it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your love and support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.